Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I am finally back to do a favorites video and it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. I think I missed my May favorites this year. So I thought today I would just combine together a bunch of stuff from the past couple of months to share with you guys. And if you're new to my channel, I do usually do these kind of monthly roundups of all of these different things that I've been liking. So lifestyle, beauty, reading, just different things like that. And I also go over some of my recent sewing and knitting projects. So if you guys are interested in that, that is what this video will be about and I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with some lifestyle favorites. So my first favorite today is slightly ironic considering the way that 2020 has gone so far, but it is actually a planner. So at the beginning of this year, I never got a planner. I had been looking for something a little bit different than the standard calendar planner. Um, those just haven't really worked very well for me in the past. If you've been around here for a while, you know that I'm not the most organized person and I kind of struggle with traditional planners. So I ended up ordering this one from Lavender. And if you guys follow Eileen's YouTube channel, it is one of my absolute favorites on YouTube. It's all about self-development and personal growth and it's just one of my favorite most beautiful bright spots on YouTube so I love her channel so definitely check it out if you haven't already so this is the planner that she sells on her website and it is so nice because it's very I guess low-key is how I would describe it so the way it's formatted is you have a day that you can kind of fill in the date and circle the day of the week so if you're like me and your schedule is not super consistent it's nice because you can choose a couple of different days in a row instead of doing consecutive days so that works really well for me I don't necessarily want to fill in my planner for a Sunday afternoon but for a daily to-do list this has been really really great so I've been really enjoying it and I would really recommend it if you are not so much into the traditional calendar type of planner this one is great and I love the design as well it's just really simple and it's this kind of faux leather material and really compact. So this has definitely been a favorite helping me organize my days. So going along with the planner, I recently got these stickers from an Etsy shop called Oh Someday Company. And I've been following the owner on Instagram for such a long time. She is so lovely and she does these adorable illustrations that she's recently started to make into stickers. And these are so cute. These are like quarantine themed stickers, which I've been loving putting in my planner over the past week or so since I've had them. They're just adorable. She's even got a little face mask on here, which I think is so cute. So um, definitely check her out on Etsy if you guys are looking for some planner stickers. She's got some adorable designs. I have a couple of different designs by her, but this newest one is definitely my favorite so far. Moving right along to another random favorite, I recently got a candle from a company called Aya Paper Company, and this is a black owned company. If you guys are trying to switch around your shopping, kind of like I have to include more black owned brands, I thought I would just mention that. It's a lovely paper goods and candle shop, so I will link to their website down below. But this is called their Staycation Candle. It's coconut and bamboo, and it smells so, so good. I've been looking for something that's more summery smelling, and this definitely ticks that box for me, so I've been loving this one. Um, they also have one other that's more like a warm sounding scent that I would love to try, so that is next on my list to order from them. So I think in my last favorites video, I mentioned that I had been trying to work a little bit more on French and getting a little better at French. French is the language that I studied in high school and college but like most Americans I feel like I just didn't get very far with it so I've been trying to self-study and get myself to a comfortable speaking ability with French so I've been using some different resources recently but the one that I tried over the last month that I really found helpful and interesting and will keep using is Pimsleur so Pimsleur is almost like audio lessons so you pay for a subscription like you would for Netflix or Hulu and then you can participate in the conversation through the audio lesson. So for me, who has had a lot of education in the grammar, but not so much in conversation, I found it so helpful because it's using a different side of my brain. I feel like it's like I'm having to come up with the way to combine the words together instead of conjugating a verb. So for me, it's been really helpful. I've been combining this with going back through my old textbooks from high school and college. That's been my kind of study approach for the past month or so, but I'm really liking PIMS. So if you are wanting to learn a language, I know they have a lot of options on there and it's definitely more focused on the speaking and conversation than understanding the grammar and the way the language is kind of built. So it's a different approach than I've used in the past which I'm finding really helpful, but if that sounds interesting to you, I will have that linked below as well. Okay. 
Okay, moving on into a reading update, and I thought I would quickly tell you guys about an app that I've been using a lot. You know I like Audible for audiobooks if you have been on my channel for a while, but I recently downloaded the LibriVox app, and LibriVox is something that I used a lot when I was in high school for audiobooks. It's like public domain, older works of literature that volunteers record. So they actually have an app now, which is really convenient. It's free to download, and you can find all of your older audiobooks on there. So anything that's like a classic or historical work, you will probably be able to find it on LibriVox. They have a really big library, so I found that really helpful recently. And recently I've been wanting to get into educating myself a bit more about Black history, particularly in the U.S. So the book that I have been listening to recently on LibriVox is The Life and Times of Frederick Douglass. And that has been super eye-opening and really educational for me. Something I've been wanting to do over the past couple of years is read more works by formerly enslaved people to kind of get that perspective and have more understanding. So this book has been particularly interesting and just really um, helpful for me in understanding kind of where our nation comes from in a way. So if you're looking to study more into that, I would really recommend checking that one out. It is hard to read, but it's really important, I think. And then going along with that, with wanting to learn more about Black history, I've also been reading this book called Warriors Don't Cry by Melba Beals, who was one of the Little Rock Nine, and I live in Little Rock, so this has been particularly um, enlightening to me because it is my local context. So I didn't grow up in Little Rock and I don't feel like I was very familiar with this um, historical event or this story at all. So this has really shown me what it was like in the city just, you know, 50, 60 years ago when my grandparents were here. Um, so it's been really helpful for me just kind of understanding where people around here come from. Um, so I would really recommend looking into a book that goes into maybe your local context if you're wanting to do more self-education on this type of topic. I found this really interesting. This one was given to me by my sister who uh, used it in a college history class. Now because I found that one so interesting and helpful, I went ahead and ordered her second book which is called March Forward Girl. You can just find her books on Amazon and I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. This looks like it might be more formatted as a young adult book, so um, just bear that in mind if you're looking into these two. But I found her writing to be both very engaging and very insightful and helpful for me as I'm trying to learn more about um, topics of race in the US. And then I have one more book I thought I would show you guys that I have not read yet. This was one that my sister gave me for Christmas. My sister was a history major and she's an attorney, so she gives me always very interesting um, things to read. And this one is called The Color of Law. I've seen this circulating around on Instagram a lot lately. Um, and this basically goes into the legal system in the United States and how it's structured and how racism, racism has played a part in that. So um, if you're looking to educate yourself on something like that, this might be a good resource as well. Now, moving on out of reading into a couple other things, I watched a documentary on Amazon Prime last month about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. So if you guys have ever watched I Love Lucy, I've always been really into that show since I was a little kid. It's one of my favorites. And um, this documentary was really, really cool. It's called Lucy and Desi at Home. It's actually a really old documentary. It was made in like 1993, I think, but it's on Amazon Prime for free and it um, interviews their daughter and son. So it's really interesting. It's showing all of their old home movie footage and just going through their lives and careers. So if you're interested in old Hollywood or particularly Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz, you might find that really interesting. I really enjoyed watching that. So next up I have a couple of beauty favorites to talk about and I ordered some new nail polish recently from Isla Cosmetics which is a natural nail polish brand based out of Tennessee and I got a couple of new colors. I just have been doing my nails more since I've been at home more and I got this really pretty pale pink and then this kind of rose pink which I think are so pretty and especially for summer this pale pink is really great. If you're looking for light colors that actually show up as the color in the bottle, Isla's nail polishes always do that and I also got their um, kind of gel style top coat which has been really really good as well. I don't have anything on my nails right now because I just took my nail polish off but I think I'm going to repaint them with the pale pink color tonight. And then one more beauty favorite, this is an eyelash serum and I got this from an Etsy shop called Mint and Ocean. This is another black owned shop just in case you guys are looking for one and her shop is just so beautiful. She has a lot of different kind of natural beauty products and I got a few lip balms but I've really been liking this. This is a blend of castor oil and 
in some essential oils and you put it on your eyelashes and eyebrows if you're trying to grow them a little bit more. I have basically like blonde eyelashes. My hair went dark at some point, but my eyelashes didn't really ever change. So I've been really liking using this because it's helping them grow just a little bit fuller. So if you're looking for something like that, I would highly recommend checking out her beautiful Etsy shop. She has so many amazing products and they all smell really good as well. Before I get into sewing and knitting projects, I do have one style favorite to share with you guys and it is this vintage coach bag, which I got on thread up a little while ago. I have been loving this so much since I got it. It is this really cute brown kind of rectangle style. It's a crossbody with a front flap and the little turn lock. And I just think this is so versatile. It goes with everything and it always makes me feel a little bit more put together. So if you are looking for a really classic, um, simple handbag. This is one that I would definitely recommend. You can find these on Etsy, eBay, ThreadUp, so many places. I see this style a lot and it does come in multiple colors. You guys know I love my vintage coach bags, but this has been such a great addition to my collection. Okay, let's talk a little bit about knitting. I've been getting so into knitting this summer, which feels really funny because I think many people enjoy knitting in the colder months, but I don't know. I just, something about being at home more has made me want to knit more. So I actually finished off a pair of socks recently, which I think turned out really, really well. I have never knitted a pair of socks that actually fit properly and had the right amount of stretch. So this is my first one that I would label a success. The yarn is from Quince and Company. It's some of their merino wool, which is really soft. And then the pattern is called Irish Oats and the designer is Cabin 4. So I will link to all of that down below in case any of you knitters want to check this out. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. It was so fun to actually finish a pair of socks and have them actually properly work. So I'm really excited about these. And then I started knitting a sweater recently. I've only ever knit one sweater and it was a Christmas Fair Isle style sweater. So I don't really wear it very often. It's like once a year maybe. Um, I'm definitely really proud of it, but I would like to have some hand knitted sweaters that I can wear more often. So I thought I would try and make something that's a little bit more like between seasons. So I'm using some cotton yarn and let me show you guys my progress so far. Here's what it's looking like. I'm not sure how well this is showing up on my camera. It might be a little washed out. It's this really pale blue color, which is something that I'm really wanting to wear more of. I think it's so pretty. And the pattern is this lace work type of pattern. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going to hopefully finish it in the next like month. That's kind of my goal to finish it by um, the end of July. We'll see how much knitting I get done on it. But the yarn is really, really soft. It's also from Quince and Company. And the pattern has been really straightforward. If you have done a little bit of lace knitting, I think it would be a really good one to try. It's called the Artichoke Sweater. I can't remember the designer's name, but I will have it all in the description box in case you guys want to check it out as well. I'm really excited about this though. I think it's gonna be really pretty in the end. And then I thought I would do just a quick roundup here at the end of this video of all of my recent favorite sewing projects. You guys will have seen a lot of these in my recent videos. Um, because I have been sharing kind of tutorials of a lot of them. So I have three different pieces that have been on my particular favorites recently. One is this top, which you guys will have seen in last week's video where I made these little sheared smock tops and I love the fabric on this one. It's this really pretty rose print floral from Rifle Paper Company, which they kindly sent to me, but I just think this is so cute. I also made this in a white fabric, which I've probably worn more because it's a little bit more practical, but I love the print on this one. So I was definitely really happy with how this one turned out and I wanna make more of these. And then another one I've gotten so much wear out of recently has been this wrap style skirt. So I've been wearing this with like a little lettuce edge t-shirt and sneakers and it's a really comfortable everyday type of outfit. I find this length so comfortable for wearing just on a daily basis. So I've been really enjoying this one. And I think I might make one more of these this summer because the style is just so easy to wear. And then last up is my little gingham dress. This has been such a fun piece to have in my wardrobe. I particularly like wearing it with my white sneakers. I pair those with most things, but I just think it looks really cute together. So this has been definitely one of my favorite makes recently. I'm wanting to do a video styling some of my handmade summer pieces. I know some of you guys have been asking for that. So hopefully that will be coming up pretty soon, doing some outfits with these different handmade items, but those are some of my recent favorites. And speaking of video requests, a couple of things that you guys have been requesting have been styling videos and then more vlogs. So if you guys who are watching have any specific requests, let me know down in the description box below. I'm trying to get into doing a bit more filming, so maybe including some more variety other than just sewing videos. So if there's anything particularly that you are interested in seeing, just let me know and I will try to get to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this very long-winded video today. I am just looking at my 
um, microphone and I've been recording for 22 minutes. So this has been quite a long one, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these random things that I have been loving over the past couple of months. I would love to hear what you guys have been up to lately. So let me know it down in a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, I cannot imagine that you would stick through this whole video, but if you are new and haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to go ahead and do that by clicking the red button down below. I post a lot of content about sewing and style and thrifting. So those are kind of my three main topics if you're interested in any of those. And if you've subscribed recently, I am so happy to have you here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. If you wanna keep up with me over on Instagram, my username over there is at just Lauren Johnson. I will put it up here for you guys to go check out in case you're interested. But I think I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Seven years now on this boat and